Hi everyone, thanks so much for taking the time to meet with me today. My name is Emily, I am on your account team with VMware. Before we get started, I just wanted to take a second to congratulate all of you. I know that you had a recent acquisition of Whistler and Blackcomb, um, and I, being that that's your 13th acquisition, I can only imagine um, what that looks like from an IT perspective. So I think right now is a perfect time to take a look at your data center and make, make sure that it's keeping up with the speed of the business. So before we dive into things, I'd love to set a quick agenda just to see where this conversation um, is going today. So I met with John last week and we discussed some of the challenges that you're facing from an IT perspective. So we'll start out there. Additionally, I noticed that a lot of those challenges align really well with our public cloud offering known as vCloud Air. So I'll give a brief overview of that as well. Additionally, I know that when, when you're shopping for cloud offerings, you do have a lot of options. So I'm going to go over some of the differentiators that VMware prides itself on. And then I will finish out by going over some business outcomes addressed during this presentation. And from there, we'll figure out the next steps. So meeting with John last week, he mentioned that one of the key challenges you're facing from IT today is the fact that you don't have a disaster recovery strategy because of that daunting cost of hardware. I know how important it is during a time of acquisition to really keep your budget in line. I mean, VMware has been there ourselves. So um, I'm gonna look today at how we can implement a disaster recovery strategy without costing any in hardware. Additionally, John did mention that he's, you're looking to be able to scale your IT infrastructure at the speed of the business. I know at a time of acquisition, it's also um, a, a key time for a lot of data surges, so I want to make sure that we can address that and make sure that you have the resources available to you. On top of that, I want to look into this aspect of keeping all of your data secure while implementing a cloud environment. Now before we dive into this public cloud offering, let's take a look at where you are in the story of virtualization today. I know you've taken advantage of the compute layer of virtualization with vSphere. Additionally, John and I did talk about the possibility of virtualizing your storage as well as your network but we can save that for a future conversation. The combination of these three things, virtualized compute, storage, and network, on top of your management and automation tools, creates what we call a private cloud or a software-defined data center. Now on the flip side of things, with VMware's public cloud, we went about our cloud differently. Rather than just implementing a solution, we really listened to our vSphere customers and developed our, our public cloud offering based on where those needs originated from. And because the Software Defined Data Center runs off the vSphere platform, you can effortlessly migrate workloads from your private infrastructure to the public cloud. And also because vCloud Air runs off that same vSphere platform, you can also migrate those workloads back into your private infrastructure. All of this can be achieved without having to reprovision any of those workloads. Now additionally, I do wanna mention with that aspect of security, from the second that workload leaves the hypervisor in your private cloud, it is encrypted all the way into, the v, into your vCloud Air. Therefore, you're not compromising the security that comes along with a software-defined data center. Now, you might be asking yourself, what kind of workloads can I be transferring to and from this public cloud offering? Now, according to our customers, they're transferring everything from their most demanding workloads to test and dev and to DR.
And on top of that, you have the flexibility to customize the cloud offering that you want. Your options are you can have a dedicated public cloud, meaning that it's not only um, separated virtually, but it's also separated physically in the vCloud Air environment. Or you can have a multi-tenant cloud um, with a shared infrastructure. So on top of that, something that our clients find incredibly interesting is the fact that every single vCloud Air customer has the ability to create a dedicated network to and from the vCloud Air. And it's totally up to you and your organization how you want to establish that network. You can establish a VPN from your private to your public to the public cloud. You can also establish a direct private network, whatever makes sense to you. So on top of that, something our customers find incredibly interesting is the fact that they can leverage their existing investment with uh, VMware by utilizing their existing management tools. And by doing so, you're reducing that learning curve that comes along with learning new management tools, which I'm sure you've seen a lot with this acquisition. Additionally, I know you, your biggest concern came, originated from your disaster recovery plan. And something that you can use in vCloud Air is a placeholder workload in the public cloud. If a disaster were to strike and this production site went down, you could go into your existing management tool, vCenter, and you can fire up those placeholder VMs to serve as your disaster recovery strategy without needing to purchase any hardware. So why does this matter to you? Because you can actually now afford your disaster recovery plan. And a fun example of this is with the San Francisco Ballet. They were um, just like you, concerned about the, their lack of disaster recovery plan because they were afraid of those daunting capital expenditures that come along with the second data center. And after they implemented vCloud Air, they reduced their chances of canceling a show um, due to a disaster. They also reduced their amount of planned downtime from two hours to 15 minutes. And based on the last report that I read from Gartner was that a company of Vail's size it costs $5,600 per minute per day when, when you experience downtime. So reducing it from two hours to 15 minutes really improves their health of their IT infrastructure. Now I understand while you're shopping for cloud solutions, you have a lot of options, which I personally love for two reasons. One, because you as a consumer have the flexibility to pick and choose the solution that's right for you. And two, it enables cloud providers such as VMware to really deliver the best um, solution to our customers to stay ahead of that competition. So I'm going to go over a few of the ways that VMware has differentiated themselves from the rest of the cloud market. Like I mentioned before in my presentation, we went about the cloud differently. We really listened to our current vSphere customers and implemented a solution that made sense to them and their needs. Additionally, having the flexibility to customize certain aspects of your cloud, such as your network connection, as well as your cloud offering, whether it's dedicated or multi-tenant, really allows a customizable and flexible solution. On top of that, we are the only cloud provider that allows you to really leverage your already existing investment with VMware by a unified management tool. Additionally, some feedback we've gotten from our customers that have both used vCloud Air as well as one of our competitors, they've said that our cloud performs 30 to 40% better than the leading competition. And then finally, something that VMware has always prided itself on is our unprecedented customer support. Whenever a vCloud Air customer has a question or concern about the product, it typically only takes one phone call to answer their needs. And finally,
finally, now that I've gone over the Cloud Air and some of the differentiators in the market, let's look at some of those business outcomes addressed during this presentation. First and foremost, with implementing the Cloud Air, you can now afford disaster recovery. On top of that, we discussed the San Francisco Ballet and how they were able to drastically reduce their downtime, which ultimately correlated to reducing costs. On top of that, you can leverage your existing investment by unified management tools. Additionally, you're able to scale at the speed of your business without having to compromise security. I think that there is a huge opportunity here for vCloud Air to positively impact your business. I would love for you to sit down with one of our vCloud Air specialists to determine where vCloud Air can fit seamlessly into your environment. Thank you.